All right, now the all new One UI 6.1 will be unveiled on 17th of January with the launch of Galaxy S24 Ultra. And this new iteration of One UI will have some of the major AI based features. And most of them will remain exclusive to the S24 series. However, there are many other new features which will be coming to the predecessors like the Galaxy S23 series as well as the S22 series and many other predecessors. So in this video, let's take a look at those important features which are highly likely to come to the predecessors. Now these features were leaked by one of the ex-users who goes by the name Bennett Brenner Pro. All credit goes to them for showing us all these features. Now the first one is circle to search as you can see in this demonstration video it says touch and hold the home button then circle or tap text or image to learn more and explore now this is really cool if at all you want to learn about text or images which is on your phone screen all you need to do is just press and hold on the home button and circle the area that you want to search now it looks like this search is integrated into google search instantly it is going to show you the search results on the screen this is something similar to bixby vision feature which we already have on the phone however in this case we will get the Google search results. That is fantastic to see. Next feature is styling your wallpaper. With this all new feature, we can select a particular wallpaper and then choose a frame of your choice, which will make the subject pop out of the frame. And then you can choose the color that you want for the background and then customize your clock. This is going to make your lock screen look just amazing. Now, this could be Samsung's answer to the depth effect, which is available on the iOS. What do you have to say about that? Drop a comment and let me know your thoughts in the comment section. The next feature expected to arrive on the predecessors of the Galaxy S24 is the battery protection options. We've got three different battery protection settings to select from. We've got basic protection, adaptive protection and maximum protection by selecting which we can extend the battery's lifespan. This feature is also expected to come and this may come only on the Galaxy S23 series, may not be on the S22 or its predecessors. The next feature is voice focus. This feature will enable us to set the mic mode to voice focus to remove the background sounds, allowing the receiver to hear the the caller's voice with more clarity. This feature has been there on the mid-range phone and now Samsung is giving us this option to have a control over voice while you are on call. The next feature is summarizing and translating your voice recordings on the voice recorder application. Using this feature you can convert recordings of meetings, voice memos and more into text then summarize them for quick review. You can even translate the transcripts and summarize to review them in any language. This sounds cool and I hope this lands on the previous versions of the Galaxy S24 series. Apart from these major features, we also have a couple of AI based features which may come to the Galaxy S23 series as well as its predecessors. They may include moving objects from one image to another. Using this feature, we will be able to press and hold on an object on an image, clip it and just use the other finger to open another image and and just attach it on that. That's something which we can expect to come to the predecessors because we have already seen this image clipping feature available on the Galaxy S23 series as well as the S22 series and perhaps some of the mid-range phones as well. So we can expect this photo editing feature as well. The next AI feature I'm expecting to come to the predecessors is on the Samsung Notes application and the Samsung internet application. We can expect these features because these features are available within an application and Samsung should be able to update these applications with these new AI features. On Samsung internet, with a single tap of a button, the application will summarize an article or web page which will help us understand the entire article in a jiffy. Now this is something similar to the Google search. Whenever you search something on Google, on the top you will see the summary of your search results which will be presented in bullet points so that we can easily understand the search results. So this feature may come to the Samsung internet application. Likewise, on Samsung Notes application, the AI can generate a summary of the entire article on the Samsung Notes and present the shorter version of it for easy understanding. Now, there are a few features which Samsung might reserve it only for the Galaxy S24 series and they might not come to the predecessors. This could be one of the photo editing feature on which you will be able to move and resize people and objects on a particular image. We'll also be able to change the angle of the images and then fill in the gaps around the edges. This feature is something which may be reserved only for the Galaxy S24 series, like how Google did with its pixels. Similar features are available only on Pixel 8 series, not on the predecessors. Uh, but eventually these features may come to the predecessors as well. But for now, Samsung might reserve it for the Galaxy S24 series. Now at the moment, we are not really sure which features are reserved only for the S24 series and which are going to come to the predecessors. Let's wait and see that. I will keep you guys posted as soon as I get my hands on the One UI 6.1 on the S24 series. And after we get an update on the S23 series, I will let you know which features we have received and which we haven't got. For now, let's hope Samsung provides most of these features on the Galaxy S23 series 
series and its predecessors on One UI 6.1. You guys let me know which features are reserved for the S24 series and which are not. Drop a comment and when you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this video informational. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.